welcome back to today's video. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching on molarity, molality, and normality, where I'll be solving this practice problem to enable us to understand this concept better. First thing first, we must understand that all of these terms are concentration units. Now, for molarity, it is measured in moles per dm cube. For molarity, it is measured in moles per dm cube. For molality, it is measured in moles per kg of solvent. While for normality, it is basically measured in normal. Okay? There are formulas that will be noted when solving problems on this aspect. So the question says, Commercial concentrated HCl contains 36.5% HCl and has a density of 1.185 grams per cm cube. Express the concentration of this solution in the term of molarity, molality, and normality. So first we solve for molarity. Recall, in my previous video, I gave us a very important formula for molarity, which is mass times 1000 all over molar mass times volume. Mass times 1000 all over molar mass times volume. Now, it must be noted in chemistry, the percentage of this compound can be given as the mass. So we had 26.5% ACL, which is same as the mass, which is 36.5 grams of HCl. So basically, we've gotten the mass. And we call the compound is ACL, so we can get the molar mass from this compound. What is the atomic mass of hydrogen? One. So basically, it is one plus chlorine 35.5 so basically the atomic mass become 36.5 grams per mole sorry the molar mass become 36.5 grams per mole so this will be the molar mass now the next is to determine the volume first thing first density is given in the question and recall density has a formula and it is mass all over volume. Now, what will be the mass? That will be the question because density is given and what will be the mass? You can't take this as the mass. Recall, consent, commercial concentration ACL contains this percent of ACL. So it means that ACL is dissolved in a solvent. Recall, solution, a solution is made up of a solute and a solvent. So let's say the solute is for ACL, which is 36.5 grams now. So it becomes solution. What will be the total mass of the solution? You know, percentage is over 100, so we can make it 100. Percentage, which is the mass 100 grams, is equal to, for the solute, will now be 36.5 grams plus that of solvent. Let's determine the mass of the solvent. So basically, solvent mass will not be equal to 100 minus 36.5 grams, which is equal to 63.5 grams of solvent. This is the mass of the solvent. So to get the volume, you take the total mass of the solution, which is assumed to be 100 grams or 100 percentage, 100 grams. So, we make volume subject here. Making volume subject, it becomes mass over density. Now, what will be the volume? Mass, 100 all over density, which is 1.185. So, when we hit our calculator, we get 84.39 cm cube. So, this is the volume. 
So your volume should not be used in CMP. But in this contest, you know, we've added 1000 to the formula because 1000 is to convert volume from CMQ to DMQ. Because I said earlier, molarity it is measured in moles, moles per DMQ. So basically, the volume should be converted to DMQ. Now, this is the volume to be applied in this question. So basically, let's impute parameter. First, the mass of, this, of the compound is given to be 36.5 gram. This is the mass of the solute, but the mass of the solvent is 63.5 grams. This mass will be helpful when solving for molar liquid. So keep this in mind, 63.5 grams of solvent. So basically, when we hit our calculator, the mass becomes 36.5 times 1,000 all over the molar mass of the compound, which is determined to be 36.5 grams per mole times the volume, which is 84.39. So when we hit our calculator, we get a value for the molarity, molarity to be 11.85 moles per dm cube, or you say molar. It is pronounced molar. Okay, so this will be for A, the molarity of the solution. Now, let's quickly talk about the molarity of the solution. Molarity. Now, let's quickly move forward to the next question, which is determination of the molarity. Now, I'll be giving us an equation that will be helpful when solving problems on molarity. An equation that you just impute parameter and get answer. The derivation to this formula has been made in my previous video. So you do have to watch that. The link will be provided in the description section. So to determine molality, recall I said molality basically is measured in moles per kg of solvent, which is the mass of solvent. So molality will now be equal to mass times a thousand all over the molar mass of the solute, the molar mass of the solute times the mass of the solvent. So what will be the molality? Recall, the mass of the solute is 36.5 grams and the, mo the mass of the solvent is given to be 63.5 grams as, as deduced in the previous question, which is this. So basically, molality becomes the mass, 36.5 grams. This is the mass of the solute, which is HCl. So it becomes 36.5 times 1,000 all over molar mass, which is 36.5 grams per mole of ACL, times the mass of the solvent, which is 63.5. So when we hit our capital, we get 15.75 molar. Molarity is measured in molar. It is pronounced molar with the symbol small letter m but if it was molar it will be big letter m molar is this molar is small m so you can see to determine molarity it's very easy and this is the answer to the question so let's quickly talk about normality normality what is the formula for solving normality recall normality is simply mass times 1000 times n all over molar mass times volume. Recall this mass times 1000 over molar mass times volume is something and it is called molarity. So basically, normality will not be equal to molarity times n recall n is number of reactive units or acid it is the basicity of the acid or basis it is the acidity of that base so in this context hcl what is the basicity 
let's dissociate. So recall the basicity is one. Let's determine the normality of this solution. Recall we've determined the molarity to be 11.85 molar. And the number of react units of this compound is one. It is mono basic. So what will be the molarity? First, the molarity was 11.85 times 1, which is same as 11.85. Now, this is special. For a compound that is monobasic, for a compound that is monobasic, molarity equals normality. For a compound that is monobasic, molarity equals normality. So, if you want to watch the video on the derivations of these formulas, do want to watch my previous video. The links are going to be provided in the description section, so you watch them and also share these videos with your friends and also subscribe on this channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Bright Edward.